Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about placing numbers on a number line. And uh, we have step one here. Uh, it says look at the boundaries. The boundaries are, you need to look at where the number line starts and where it finishes. In this case, this number line goes from 0 to 500. So that's step one. We've looked at the boundaries. Step two, count the sections. That means you need to count the number of sections that the number line is cut up into. And that will tell you uh, what the steps are. Um, for each section. In other words, what each section is worth. So we've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that means that 0 to 500 uh, divided by 10, so 500 divided by 10 means that each section is worth 50. Okay, so um, that means that we have 50 here, 100 here, 150 here, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, and then 500. Okay? All right, so what I want you to do is uh, I want you to uh, work out where uh, A would go, 300. If we had 300, where would 300 go? If we had 450, where would 450 be? And finally, C, where would 275 go on this number line? And as an added bonus, D, uh, 325. Okay? So stop the video, try and work out where those are. Some of them are clearly labeled on the number line. Some of them you'll have to work out where they are. And then when you think you've got them, uh, restart the video, and I'll show you where I think they should go. Okay? So stop the video now and work out A to D. Okay, so you should have uh, stopped the video and tried to work out where these uh, different um, numbers go. Uh, right, we've got 300, so A, <coughs> well, we've already worked out, we've already identified where 300 should go, so 300 should go there, okay, because we uh, worked out that uh, each of these steps was worth 50. B is 450, well, again, we worked out B when we were working out the steps. Uh, C is going to be a little bit harder because it's 275. Uh, we know that 250 is here and 300 is here, okay? So we know that 275 is more uh, than 250 here, but it's smaller than 300. So that means that 275 is going to be somewhere in the middle, about there. Okay, and the bonus question, 325, 325 is also... Uh, it's uh, slightly bigger than 300 here, but it's a bit smaller than 350. So in this case, we would have to label D as being somewhere in sorry in that area there. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful for you. The big thing is you, that you need to take away from this is you need to be able to uh, work out how much each of these sections is worth. So each of these sections was worth 50, and that's how I worked out how what to write for each of these numbers. But you always have to look at the uh, end, at either end of the number line, to make sure that you are um, you understand what the numbers are that you're working with, and you have to count the number of st uh, sections the number line is cut up into. Okay, good luck.